Hello everybody, uh, just a quick opening joke. <laughs> when I was 19, I found myself working out in Greece illegally for the Albanian mob. I got my first inkling they were the Albanian mob after my shift. The first day, eight hours long, I barefaced get handed 20 euros and what my mouth actually said was, thank you. Eight hour shift, I didn't feel that I was in a position to refute that wage. That was all you need to know about my Albanian mob boss can be said through translating the Albanian words he felt essential to impart to me. The first one being lapis. Anyone care to take a guess what this obscure word from a niche language may be? There are no wrong answers. So. That is the wrong answer. <laughs> it in fact means to consume pussy. Okay, that's just the kind of educator my boss was. The other words that he decided to teach to me were, no, no, actually, that was the only word that he thought was important enough. What I'd realized a couple days in where they were supplementing my wage with alcohol, so I like to double down, try and take them for all their worth. That meant that I was walking out of my shifts legless at 4 a.m. There was one night, 6 a.m., clubs are closing down. I was outside somewhere called Cherry Bay, speaking in the smoking area to some Scottish lads that I'd met on shift and I get two taps on my shoulder. Ooh, ooh. I spin around, oh. Before I'd even turn, she's already jumped into my arms. So now I'm kind of looking up at this person, trying to recognize maybe I know who they are, no. She looks deep into my eyes and she says, oh, do you want to have sex with me in the sea? My face does something to the tune of. <laughs> and now we're walking down the beach. She's stripped down to a two piece and she's actually running off into the ocean. I say, no, 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 come back, come back. I can't leave Keith's wallet phone out here unattended. Let's find somewhere else to go. Now we're walking through a field. I knew it was a field, because she's giving it the old like, ah, oh, must be something kind of spiny. I really wanted to sympathize, but what my mouth actually said was, why didn't you put your flip flops on? And she, yeah, she didn't appreciate that. We get up to the top of the roof now, and I get into stance. You know that classic stance, guys, when you're in a stupor, and you think you're about to get some booty? And it looks a little something like this. You're in the bed maybe, your toes start wiggling like you're happy. And then as soon as we both sit down, she gets back up straight away. I'm like, oh, where are you going to? I gotta get a condom. Oh, we're doing that. Okay, yeah, good, good shout, good shout. Take off, take off. She's gone now, but before she leaves, she gets up and she moves my pouch. Just this, maybe a yard, just one quick movement. And even in my state, I start to think to myself, hmm, there was really, really no need for her to be doing that. So as she was gone, I pulled back the air vent, put my pouch inside thinking everybody's good now. She comes back, I think, okay, it's about to get cracking, like, ah, no. She's asking me, where's my pouch? Where is it? I say, don't worry, I threw that into the field, it's gone. It's into the night, the darkness. And uh, she says, oh, no, 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 that's, that's, can't do that. Someone might steal it. I said, oh, you think somebody's going to steal my bag? Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of concern coming from someone I've never met. Let's go find it. She's off back down the stairs. I take my pouch, seeing as she was so worried, and I wear it to make her feel better. I'm now getting my clothes back on because I've decided this is too much for me. I'm down at the bottom of the stairs, get my shoes on, and she comes out of the darkness. She got her arm around someone, she says, oh, this is my sister. You want to have sex with us? I've never been more proud of myself. I get up off the step, nope. <laughs> you guys have a lot of fun with that. I'm sure it's gonna be great, something biblical, but I will be out, and I start walking bat out of hell down the beach and what do I see underneath the very roof we were just sitting on top of four silhouettes in the night they don't know how to act they see me take I'm saying oh have a good night lads see you later oh man it's been good it's been good it's been lovely you can't scammer scammer baby and I'm walking off down the beach all I hear is fuck are you you fucking bastard you stupid bitch because what I didn't tell you was when I was getting my clothes on her clothes that she had so stupidly left unattended got dashed, dashed into the field, into the night, top of the roof, flip flop, fling, gone. She, I'm telling you, she's never finding that. I was walking down the beach like I had sex. I'm bobbing my head and I'm absolutely, I'm astounded by my, my ingenuity in the last moment of the night. Probably 7 a.m. now, people are out swiping buckets of water to clear up from the night's deluge. It's hitting my ankles. I don't get, nothing can bring me down. Nothing can bring me down. She, yeah, it was a good night. It was a good night. I go to my boss, <laughs> by jealous, I let him know. I tell him the whole story. He doesn't even look at me. 
He just says, ah, yes, the gypsies. How are you supposed to tell this man? You're not, you're not allowed to say that, big. You're not allowed to say that, Bajelis. That ain't politically correct. This guy didn't give a toss. He didn't give a flying toss. And uh, I actually saw her another time. I, I saw her again, and it was like we were best friends. I really bonded. We bonded together. I asked her, oh, hey, how's it going, man? Remember that night? Yeah, remember the night? New flip flops, all right, that's kind of cold. Uh, <laughs> and I asked her, oh, so how was it? Did, did you get someone? She's like, I always get somebody, baby. And I was like, yo, hey, my name's been Arthur. Really appreciate you guys for sitting in with me. Take care, take care.